I went to AA to find out that it's bullshit, because I walk in, I'm like, okay, AA, I'm here. Thanks me, I'm so broken. <laughs> they're like, well, here's the first and only rule, Glenn. You can never drink again. And I was like, <laughs> What kind of first rule is that? You just took away the best thing in the world ever. Why don't you lead up to that? Like, how about no more Rubik's Cube? <laughs> no! Glenn has to be sober all the time. Well, I'm sorry. But drunken Glenn is a fantastic man. Do you have any idea how many times drunken Glenn has gotten me laid? <laughs> now sober Glenn's so very choosy. Drunken Glenn can see the inner beauty <laughs> of a Reuben S. woman. And they say, no! No! Glenn has to be sober all the time. Well, here's something you may not know about Sober Glenn. Sober Glenn is judgmental. <laughs> sober Glenn meets somebody new. He doesn't take the time to find the little diamond that lives inside the rib cage. Now, Sober Glenn meets somebody new. He makes snap judgments just like that, and he sticks to them. Yeah, if Sober Glenn meets a transvestite, he thinks it's disgusting. Drunken Glenn, however. <laughs> no is what they say, say, at AA, when it comes to drinking. Because isn't Sober Glenn so fucking cool? You should have a parade for Sober Glenn and march him down Main Street. We can all bask in his kingly kingness. Take him to the river. And let his greatness wash down the river and into the sea and make the whales stronger. <laughs> oh, Sober Glenn, all the time, what a man, what a champion. <laughs> you should build villages in his footprints because he's so fucking wise and he doesn't even have to read any books. He should be consulted at every juncture. <laughs> well, correct me if I'm wrong, and I very rarely am. Didn't every time I got drunk, was that not Sober Glenn's idea? <laughs> 